It's one week since the blast at Pune's German bakery, which killed 11 people, many of them young students. Over 10 agencies, including the Mumbai ATS, the NIA and the NSG, are now investigating the case. But friends and families of victims and those who survived the blast are yet to overcome the horror that changed their lives. Pune's first terror attack. 11 dead, over 50 injured. I was blacked out. Eight of those killed, too young to die. Whenever we used to go out together, he always used to pack food for his brother and sister who were back home. I can't, I can't focus on my own studies also. Pune's response, peace marches to remember the dead. Candlelight vigils to pay homage. The city which is known for its young population, the student community here is still in a state of shock. They are organizing peace walk. Also voices of concern emerging over safety in the city. I've been here for six months and I felt very, very safe. And now I have to ask myself, should I go there or not? Now parents are anxious. We got a lot of phone calls from parents, not only from other states, but also from abroad, you know, asking us, uh, uh, requesting us to take care, ensuring that students are inside the hostels. Eleven agencies, including the Mumbai ATS, the NIA and NSG, are now investigating the case. While no arrests have been made, investigations have led to scores of people connected to the Indian Mujahideen being questioned. All Pune now hopes will be a quick return to normalcy, at least as normal as life will allow it to be. An NDTV Bureau report. Tuba.com.